Well, one of the things I get asked about is my right hand uh, approach. And, it, you know, my whole right hand, it, it took a while to evolve. Uh, at first, I, I used a pick and I used one of these little, uh, uh, little Fender jazz picks, uh, mainly because Roy Buchanan did. Um, and then later I found it, it, it helped me, you know, it didn't get in the way of fingers two and three and four if I use it. Um, but after a while, I started to use hybrid picking. And, and, you know, it started out pretty slow, you know, just with, uh, you know, you know, kind of things, like a dead thumb thing. And maybe I'd use, maybe use one finger. The, the breakthrough for me happened when I actually broke my leg. <laughs> I, was, uh, I went to Switzerland and uh, tried to ski and I broke my leg and I had a cast up to my hip, kind of like, you know, uh, Jimmy Stewart in Rear Window. And I got this book, I had nothing to do but lay in bed and I got this book and it was Giuliani Exercises. And it was, uh, uh, you know, classical exercises for the right hand. And, you know, I, I didn't want to uh, do this. You know, I see players put their pick and, you know, and they, they they play with their fingers and then they take the pick out of their mouth. And I didn't want to do that because I'm very single-minded. So I thought, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and learn this. And, and there was just a couple of exercises that, because I had broken my leg, I did them for about six months <laughs> on my back. And what, basically, it's two chords. It's C and G7 with B bass. I haven't done these in a while, to be honest. Uh, and, and when I do show this, people have trouble with this chord. I don't know why, but it's B, F, G, B, and F again, okay? Now, the, the first one is just grouping in threes. So you, you do pick, middle, and ring, play strings five, four, and three, then four, three, and two, and three, two, and one. And then you end it like you start it with five, four, and three again. So it's... Then you go to that G7 with B bass. Okay, and that's, that's it. Almost didn't get it. There we go. Yeah, I'm a little rusty on this. But it really helped me. And the thing that I like about it is it's, it's kind of pretty. I, if, 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 if I do, you know, these kind of, you know, exercises, you know, I end up thinking that it looks so nice outside and I just go outside or something. I just can't, I, I really don't like to do ugly exercises. And this is, this is kind of nice, okay? So that's one, and there's kind of a bounce to it. Think of it as you're bouncing. And it helps you... You know, get that. Uh, you know, that kind of thing. Like you can get, the advantage of it is you hear everything at once. It, it, like, you aren't going, you know, there's a, a, a really different sound that I prefer. Um, So anyway, that's that's one. The the other one that helped me out is is very similar. It's the same two chords, C with a G7 with B bass. And it's pick middle ring on strings 5, 4 and 3, pick middle ring on strings 4, 3 and 2, pick middle ring on strings 3, 2 and 1 and pick middle ring on strings 4, 5, 4 and 3. So you end it like you start it. Okay. Then to that G7 with B bass. And that, I did that a whole lot. And it really freed up my, my hand to do, you know, this kind of stuff. So that's, you know, in part of how I got started. Now, one of the things, too, that it helped me do was like stuff like chicken picking. Um, 
there's a number of ways to chicken pick. Uh, I'll start with this one. You just it, let's just do a, you know, a blues scale in A. I mean, I'm sorry, a pentatonic scale. So it's one four one three one three one three one four one four. Okay. So you starting on the lowest note, we're gonna down uh, downstroke and then uh, upstroke with your middle finger. So you got, so it's, and that's one way to do it. Okay. Now I'm, I'm so, I'm, I'm lazy sometimes. And I, I actually put that one on the back burner because I like to do it this way. And I just do it with my, my pick. That's probably my favorite way to chicken pick because it's, I mean, I use this sometimes, probably like that. But the other way is just to go. So you're, you, it's like, and then you, you press down. So same same line, you know. So it's deca deca, and that's that's a real. I mean, I actually have never heard a chicken, I don't think, but that to me if, does sound like one. It's a real chicken picking sound. So you know, uh, again, I, I think in the uh, in the uh, you know during Twister and stuff, I talk about how I play double stops and how I assign fingers to the uh, two notes, middle and ring, and, and single notes are, are, are with the pick. But anyway, I guess that's a, uh, an overview of my right hand. I hope that's helpful, and I hope you enjoy it.